What is up guys? Welcome to my trailer breakdown for The Flash Season 5 Episode 10 titled The Flash and the Furious. And yeah, I know this video is a little late compared to when the trailer came out. If you want to know why, I explained it in my trailer breakdown for the for Arrow Season 7 Episode 10 because that was also late for the same exact reason. But for this trailer, uh, let's actually watch it before I break it down. Have I not given you everything that you want? A chance to go back to see your father. <clears throat> To run with the flag. No! This is your legacy. Another broken family. The Flash. All new episodes return Tuesday, January 15th on the CW. The trailer begins showing us that this episode will continue where episode 8 left off, confirming that Eobarthon and Nora are working together. So this episode actually is not airing until January 15th. So basically, uh, episode 9, the crossover, was technically the mid-season finale, although I do consider episode 8 to be the actual mid-season finale. Every single year, really, there's a crossover episode that just disrupts the entire season-long storyline. Because if you look at this episode, it feels like it goes episode 8, then episode 10 with episode 9 in the middle not really have anything to do with it because like the episode 8 ended with that with that reveal and then this episode which is a couple weeks later continues it although I do prefer them to put this crossover here in episode 9 as opposed to episode 8 because if it's at episode 8 you have this whole big storyline and all these reveals by episode 7 then you stop then continue for one episode and then have another couple week break I think it's better to have this whole long storyline stop for one week or stop for one crossover episode and then don't really continue the storyline at all or just don't release any episodes for a couple weeks and then continue it so i do like what they did here with this season and the crossover but like that like i said this episode will continue where episode 8 left off dealing with nora working with eobard Dawn. i'm guessing it will be revealed to team flash in this episode because even though i usually expect things to be revealed to team flash a little bit later it feels like in this season it is something different where when something is revealed to the audience it's revealed to Team Flash like the next episode. So I'm guessing in this episode, they will all learn that Nora and Eobarthon are working together. But getting to the actual trailer, we learned a little bit of why Nora is actually working with Eobard. Not because she has some evil agenda. It's probably just because she wanted Eobard's help to get back to the past. I'm guessing in that time, she and Eobard are maybe the only speedsters who are around, so she wanted to get help from another speedster, so she got help from Eobard Thon to help her either to learn how to time travel, because we also know that she was only a speedster for half a year at this point before coming back in time, so I'm guessing in that time, she wanted to time travel back to 2018, she got Eobard Thon's help, and he taught her how to do it, and maybe he wants something in return, which we might see in this episode. So, a couple seconds into the trailer, we see a shot of Nora as a kid, holding a Flash figurine and reading a Flash comic, first of all, making real, like, real-life superheroes in this universe into comic books. It feels like a lot of movies and TV shows are doing that recently because on in Logan, which is ironic because it feels like that movie wouldn't really do something like this, but that movie, Logan, made the real-life superheroes in that universe of the X-Men into comics, and then Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse did the same thing, and now here, The Flash does the same thing in January, making The Flash into a comic book in the future, and it makes sense. I do understand why, you, like, in-universe, the uh, somebody would take these real-world superheroes and make them into comic books, and also action figures, but we see in this scene a young Nora, and in the same exact shot, Barry is there as well, meaning one of two things, and I think the latter thing is way more likely, but uh, first of all, it's possible that Nora is just uh, imagining Barry is there, like she looks up and she notices somebody looks like Barry, she goes to greet him or something, and it turns out it's not, that, that is something they do in movies sometimes, but I don't think that's very likely. I do think that this is most likely Barry actually traveling to the future, to whatever year this is, probably around 2034 or something, 2035 or something like that, because it's probably 15 years or something before 2049, the time that the Nora Allen that we know from season 5 is from, but here's a little girl, she's probably like 15 to 20 years younger, so this could be around 2030 or something, which is only a couple years before the Star City uh, flashbacks or the Arrow Season 7 flash forwards, I meant to say. I don't know why I said flashbacks, but maybe they could have some connection. But if there is some sort of time travel to the future specifically in this episode, which just going off this trailer, there definitely will be. That's something I'm actually pretty excited for in this specific episode. I think that exploring the future is not something they do very often on not only this show, but on Legend of Tomorrow as well. They usually tend to focus more on the past 
with time travel, especially on Legend of Tomorrow. So going to the future, especially to a time period that we've only visited once, and that's in one scene in one episode, as well as a character we know is from that time. This could definitely be very interesting. We also know that Barry is going to the Flash Museum. So seeing the Flash Museum for not really the first time, we did see the layer of villains in the Flash Museum, but seeing the rest of the Flash Museum for the first time, that is very exciting. So we do see another couple shots of the future. First of all, we have this one in the Flash Museum, specifically the Hall of Villains that I mentioned earlier, and we see Iris West. Now this could mean that Iris went with Barry to the future, which I don't think she has ever done before, but I think this is most likely actually Iris West from this year, which means that uh, she didn't, she hasn't aged really that much since uh, 2018, although if you look at the flash forwards of Arrow, really all they did is add some wrinkles to Dinah and Roy and added some white hair as well, and then I guess they look older, K kinda, not really, so Iris is the same thing here, where 12 or something years in the future from now, she looks exactly the same and I think this is very likely Iris West should show up in this episode if they are going to this time period because her daughter is around she's a little girl I, I would assume that uh, Iris would have some supervision over her so this 100% makes sense this is most likely Iris West from whatever the year this is like around 2030 but we also get another shot from the future of the same newspaper we saw all the way back in I think episode one of season one right at the end of the episode this newspaper was revealed and it's pretty insane that they teased this all the way back then because now in season six which is not now next year they're going to be doing crisis on infinite earth which is what this newspaper teased which doesn't really make any sense because this newspaper is from 2024 it's obviously reporting on new news which means news that just happened so the flash just went missing in a crisis, although this is 2024, and the Crisis on Infinite Earths is taking place on 20, in 2019, which means that either the crisis was moved up five years, or this is a different crisis. The reason people thought this is Crisis on Infinite Earths, particularly, is because in that comic book, two characters died, two very significant characters, one of them was Supergirl, and the other one was The Flash, although it turns out The Flash didn't actually die, he got sucked into the Speed Force, but that wasn't revealed for 30 odd years or 35 years i'm pretty sure so people thought that this is referring to crisis on infinite earth which means that if it is then this the timeline is has been changed which makes sense the timeline has been said to be malleable just a couple episodes ago in episode 8 of the season by the text from Nora allen's journal but it's also possible that this is a different crisis either way uh it, this is pretty exciting i don't know how this will affect the show in particular, whether or not that this newspaper is actually now from 2019 all of a sudden, which wouldn't really make any sense. I mean, they wouldn't have canceled The Flash in season 6, and also Oliver did something to prevent his death. So, uh, I honestly, at this point, don't know much about what's going on here. I am very excited. Maybe there will be this crossover event next year, and then another huge one in 2024. We will have to wait a pretty long time to, and to know the answer to that second question. So in the trailer, we see Barry time traveling to the future. We also see Nora betraying Barry and putting him in the time in the in the prison in the Star Labs prison, which he's being put in every episode now, I guess. But uh, the question is, why is he ta traveling to the future, and why did Nora betray him in this specific scene? Well, he's time traveling to the future, uh, probably to spend time with Nora in the future when she's a little girl, or possibly because he's trying to avoid. Nora teaming up with Reverse Flash, which we do see later in the trailer, which is something I mentioned like a couple seconds ago. Nora does betray Barry, which is possibly when he learns that she is working for Yarbathon, which is maybe why she put him in the prison for maybe because Reverse Flash manipulated her into thinking that this is going to help Barry. Maybe he do she does have some evil agenda that I mentioned earlier that she doesn't, which it's possible that she does, or maybe Eobarthon helped her, so now he's she's helping him, I don't know, honestly, I do not have any clue, but I'm also guessing that, um, that these two things are connected, Nora betraying Barry and Barry uh, running to the future, probably connected in some way. The trailer definitely focuses around uh, Eobarthon, aka the Reverse Flash, quite a lot, and with this whole story arc of him teaming up with Nora, being a part of this season, much more than any other season other than season 1, of this show a lot of people have been saying that it's possible that he will be revealed to be the actual main villain of the season and cicada will be pushed aside so me personally i would be kind of against that 
in this season. Don't get me wrong. I would love to see Reverse Flash return as a main villain for a season. In fact, I think Season 10 should 100% have Reverse Flash as the main villain. Although Matt Letcher, not Tom Cavanaugh. But as for now, in Season 5, they already have this established villain in Cicada. And while I don't think Cicada is incredible or anything at this point, I do think if they've gotten this far with the character, they should just stick it out to the end. If it turns out great, if it turns out he is a great villain for the season, that's awesome. If it turns out he's not a great villain, that's obviously not great. But they can just move on past that and make Reverse Flash the season villain in the future there i just don't i don't like villain swaps i did it in arrow season six although i did like that they switched out the bad villain for a better villain i don't like that they did a villain swap in general they did it in luke cage season one and two or maybe season one uh they did it in defender season one i just don't like it at all i do not like it when they do villain swaps so if they do one here that would kind of get me annoyed. You have Cicada, just stick it out to the end. So if so, so if Reverse Flash does become the actual main villain of this season, while it would be cool to have Reverse Flash return as the main villain in this season in particular at this point, that would not be a good idea. Although Reverse Flash, regardless, will have a huge role to play in this season one way or another, which might be leading up to a future uh, season like Season 6 where he is the main villain of that particular season i would love for him to return as the main villain of season 10 that would work perfectly if they're doing it one more time before then that could be cool as well but in season 5 i don't think they should so anyway let me know all your thoughts about this trailer in the comments down below and if you like this video and if you want to check out the trailer breakdown for arrow season 7 episode 10 link will be in the top right corner of the video but if you like this video don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs>